what's up car community welcome back or welcome to my video if you are new here do not forget to subscribe hit that like button if you enjoy this video and share this video with all your friends all your enemies your family everyone just everyone just share this thrilling content um let me adjust this because it's having a moment great so today I'm struggling with this. There's like a lot of glare happening. But I got new glasses. Wow. I'm still getting kind of used to them. I really like them in the store. And now that I have them, I'm like, do I like them? I think I do. I'm just like getting used to them. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. But I thought I'd mention it. So we're going to talk about Bulks of Chum. Bulks of Chum. So, if you don't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription box. It costs roughly $21 US. Um, I th think it's free shipping. I could be wrong. Obviously, you have to pay the exchange rate. But once it's here, it does go through Canada Post. Somehow, I still got mine on time. We're currently on a strike. So, I don't know, my sister sent something like weeks ago and it still hasn't gotten here, but this was shipped out like two weeks ago and it did get here. So, I don't know if it's because it's express post, maybe they're prioritizing that, but anyways, I have no idea. But yes, it is American, it does cost American cash flow, it converts, but overall, it's definitely worth it. I have already peeked in here, I cannot wait, and then I was... So thrilled because I guess this month there's five different boxes and I usually get what everyone else gets like who does YouTube so I'm not super consistent in posting because I don't want to post something that's been posted already 500 times but spoiler alert I got a very different box so I was like I have to share this with the people because I don't think I've seen anyone else get the stuff I got and so it's a hashtag thrill so I got box number two and I was surprised because on the back, did it say everything? Oh, well it did, but I didn't read that apparently. I just saw the weight and there was like a $4 US value on six pounds and I was like, what is six pounds? Like no one, that sounds like a lot. So anyways, let me show you. Ta -da. So I also saw this paper, which is a limited warranty, and I was like, what would I be getting that has a limited warranty? And I saw this, and I was like, no spoilers, we'll read after. And so I saw this stuff, but I saw this, and then I quickly noticed there's no eyeshadow palette. And everyone's been like, oh, like lately everyone, like every month you get one, and usually I do. But the reviews on the eyeshadow palette this month have been super, super mixed. So I was kind of like, oh, I wonder if mine will be a good one or a bad one. But I was also like not super thrilled by the color selection in the palette. So I wasn't super hurt that I didn't get it. But I didn't know what this was. So we'll save that for the end, actually. But we'll start with this. This is a detox activated charcoal mask. I'm not going to use any of the products just because... And nobody got time. This is a real quick review, y'all. So everyone and their dog has been trying this, but like through the video, they're always like, oh, I forgot to wet my face. I didn't swirl, blah, blah, blah. It's not a traditional mask that you'd put on like kind of, I don't know, using a brush or something. It's almost, it's activated in the same way a cleanser is. So you're supposed to like get your face nice and damp and then you put it on and like rub it like in circular motions and then you leave it and then you wash it off. So it seems almost like a two in one in the way that the instructions say, but yeah, it's activated charcoal, it detoxes. It's by a brand called Cosmetics. <laughs> I heard another YouTuber accidentally call it Cosmedix and I lost my mind. I thought it was hilarious. So let me see if I can show you the interesting spelling so it's just spelled really odd i don't know if it's coming up it's looking super super shiny on my camera but it's spelled like d-i-x at the end 
So she's like, oh, cosmetics, what? And then she realized it's cosmetics. But now I'm calling it cosmetics because it's funny. Living. So that's that. Do I have weird stuff on my chin? What's happening? No, it's just a little red. Cute. Next, I got the Bodyography Timber Lip Pencil. It's like brown. At first, I thought when I like opened the cap, I thought this was like an eyebrow pencil, but it's not. So that's that in the color Timber. I've already kind of swatched it on my hand, but I'll swatch it again. So it looks like that. So that is the color Timber. It is a lip color. Interesting. It smudges out okay at first, but then it doesn't move. Like, oh, maybe I put it right on top of mine. Because it was there and now it's gone. But anyways, yeah, it's there. It's not going anyway. So, we'll try it. I'm not a huge fan of lip pencils. If you've been here for a minute, you already know that. It's a thrill. Next, I got the Tartiste Shimmering Lip Paint, which if you read the back, it is a lip gloss. It is a festive color. It is in the color Strike Gold. And it looks like this. So that is the color. It's like a rose gold. It smells like cake. It smells really, really sweet, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but yeah, it's super shiny. I don't know how I feel about it. We'll see, maybe in a future video. Next, I got the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Setting Powder. It's called The Powder Room Matte About It. And it's translucent. It's good for a year. I really like the packaging. It is like stenciled. Like this isn't a sticker. It's actually on there. It's really, really cute. I kind of, it's sealed. It's got a pink poof in it. And then it's got that. I lifted this just to see if it had any kind of smell. And from, you can't see it because it's too bright. But I covered it back up. But from the little quick, mild opening that I got out of there. It didn't smell like anything, so it's not fragranced. Now lastly, but certainly not least, um, there's this by a brand called Pit, Pite? I don't know, P-Y-T. It's a girl's world. And I was like, is this a brush set? And then I looked at the back, it's a straightener, y'all. I got a hair straightener in my BoxyCharm. I was floored. So I'm actually traveling in one week minus a day and I was gonna bring a straightener but I'm like they're so big and heavy I'm not gonna bother but now I can look at this little guy it's a thrill so yeah I haven't tried it so I don't know how it works but I'm gonna bring it and we'll see how it works there yeah, so that's my box. It's got a pretty wicked value. I don't know if it's because it's December and they're like, Merry Christmas, y'all. But, like, this alone is apparently worth $75. So I was like, oh, giddy. So I don't know. I haven't crunched the numbers. But let me do a rundown. There's a hair in my face. It's itching. So, yes, the straightener is $75. The cosmetics mask is worth $30, so that's $105 right there. The powder is worth $32, so that's, what did I say, $105, so that's $137. The liner is $12, so that's $149, and the lip paint is $20, so $169, I think, is the total. So not bad. Um, Yeah. It's pretty decent. I'm content. Uh, I guess I'll have to try everything and see how it is after I've actually used the products. But I was floored. I was like, no way. What is this? What has life come to? Well, I don't know. I've been in a really weird mood today. This has been me all day. But um, yeah, that's my BoxyCharm. If you're interested, I will leave a link down below. 
uh, if you choose to use it, I don't know, apparently I can possibly be sent some extra little bonus perks. Um, so it's like a semi, a semi, I can't speak, a semi affiliate link, but not really like anyone who signs up can be considered an affiliate. So feel free to use it to creep, to subscribe to them, to do whatever, but they're pretty good. I mean, for 20 bucks ish US, uh, you get like, I'm pretty sure you get well over a hundred like every time uh, like I said it's not usually a hair straightener this is a first I don't know if anyone else got a straightener so if you do already do boxycharm comment down below which box you got I've seen five and I don't remember what the other one was I don't think that she said but this seems to be in all the boxes and I think that's it because both of the other versions had this. One of the other versions had this. I don't know if the other versions had the lip paint. I think they all have a pencil. I don't know if all the pencils are this color. But, yeah. I'm, I'm impressed. If you'd like to see any of these products in action, leave a comment down below. If I remember while I am on the vacay, I will mention how the straightener works I don't know that's it such thrills such quality um that's it so yeah don't forget to subscribe like this video if you do like boxycharm if you're super thrilled by it I can continue to do them every month but like I said if I get a repeat of like a more popular youtuber typically I won't bother because it's like a lot of work y'all and I appreciate those of you who watch me Anyways, y'all, it's been a slice, and uh, yeah, don't forget to share, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye, y'all.